Hi everybody, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna look at the list feature in Microsoft Whiteboard. So this new feature is called Lists and it allows you to add text lists to your Whiteboard Canvas. Now I'm demonstrating this in the Windows 10 version and you come to the plus button to add the list and you choose List. It drops the rectangle onto the page and you can see I can move it around, I can resize it, I can spin it even if I want to. And what we've got in here is a list title and then we've got the opportunity to type in and create the list itself. So if I double click on the title, it allows me to change it. So I'm just going to call that agenda. Then I'm going to add the list items. So imagine that you are having your meeting using Whiteboard and you wanted to throw your agenda up on the Whiteboard so people can follow and talk about those things. So notice as well, um, when you select the whole Whiteboard, you can do copy, cut and delete. And obviously you can edit the region title and you've also got this sort list. So this will sort by reaction and alphabetically. So if I switch it to alphabetically, you can see it's reordered them. Also, the elements here, the bullets themselves, can be moved around. So I can grab them, drop them. I can even grab them and take them out of the list and they become little post-it notes. So say you wanted to go off on a tangent in your meeting, you wanted to take this off to another part of the whiteboard, because remember, it's almost infinite canvas. You can do that and you can also drag it back in so it becomes part of the list again. Here's another example of how you might use this. So I'm going to add another list. And this time we're going to use it for voting. So say we're in a meeting together and we want people to vote to approve or make a decision. So I add my voting options and now people, whoever is in the meeting or in the whiteboard, can come to each of these items and actually choose a thumb so they can approve or like the item. You'll see the thumbs are aggregated there as people add them. So if I select other here and choose the thumb, you can also sort this list by reaction. So if I choose sort by reaction, it will move the item with the most thumbs to the top of the list. So I'll easily be able to see which one is the most popular. All right, so that's lists in Whiteboard. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.